In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added one gold color uh, stripe at the back side and then I put the option number one with again with the gold color. Then you can see the icons have added the first step and the detailed text like that. Uh, you can add up to the four steps or depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these steps as well. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then right mouse click, go to the format background and I'm going to change the background of the slide so you can just use any light color background so in this case i'm going to use a kind of a uh, very light color here you can see this particular color background i'm using then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose a rectangle rounded corner draw a rectangle rounded corner depending on the requirement and then you can see the small orange point or the yellow point just drag this outside to make it less curved at the corners all right then shape outline i'm going to select this white and then go to the line here and increase the width okay so you can see here i'm going to increase the width to maybe uh six all right so it looks something like this and the color for this i'm going to use a, a somewhat darker color than the background okay for that let me just choose this color you can see here a kind of gray color all right and once this is done i would like to give a gradient color to the outlines only okay so I'll select the shape again again scroll down to the line remember it is line here this is fill and this is line so i'm going to select the line all right and then i'm going to select the gradient line so gradient line when you click it you've got four stops so two stops i'm deleting i've got uh, two stops now so one stop i'm going to choose any gray color here all right and the other one i'm going to choose white like this okay and then the direction i would like to have look something like this all right so you can see here it looks something like this so once this is done the next thing which you can do is adding a shadow effect for that go to insert shape select the rectangle once again in this case i'm going to make a big rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to select a black color or i can just select some gray color also let me just select gray color instead of black then go to the effects under the soft edges increase the soft edges here you can see here and bring it here and then send this to back okay so it looks something like this all right so again if you want to adjust the the background the shadow you can just go and increase the soft edges more okay so depending on the requirement you can adjust it all right once this is done i'm going to insert one option number one one text here and here i'm going to use uh, Adobe Gothic standard B this particular font and I'm going to make this as maybe 138 font size which is quite big and place it here and then the color which I'm going to use is the color which is the gold color which looks something like this and put it in the corner all right then I'm going to insert shapes from the rectangles again select the rounded corner rectangle and here i'm going to add one gold strip here and make this as full curved shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to use this gold color and then send this to back so it looks something like this and make sure there's this particular shadow should always be back of this gold strip all right so again depending on the requirement you can just reduce the size to match with our font size here all right so it looks something like this oh. 
and one more thing you can do with the font here i would like to give some darker color here so it looks like it is coming from the corner so here i'm going to select this particular text and here you can see here in the format shape there are two options are there shape options and text options so we are working on the text option so we need to select the text option here all right and then i'm going to select the gradient color the gradient color i'm going to use two color one color which is i'm going to use some uh, gold dark gold color all right and the direction i would like to use this direction and here i would like to use the normal gold color all right so you can see here i can just move this sorry let me just delete this one i'll move it a little bit you can see the corner it becomes more darker all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the shadow this one and these three shapes by holding the shift key hold the control shift key and drag this towards the right side so this is my second option again hold it one more time this is my third option hold it one more time and the fourth option so now this particular shadow effects i'm going to select and send this to back and then i'm going to change this to two this is three and this is four all right so you can see here this is bending here all right so i just adjust a little bit and this is how it will be okay the next step is to add some icons and before that one uh, make sure that the equal spacing is given between these options as you can see here there's a more gap here so i'm just going to select this one and move it a little bit towards the left then i'm going to choose these options move it the option number three and then the option number four also i'm going to move it all right so this is are the four options are there so and once this is done i'm going to add a uh, icon so go to insert click on icons and choose any icons uh, which uh, depending on your requirement okay so here i'm just going to select this one icon this one this one and some random icons i'm just selecting and this one click insert you can see the icons are inserted and i'm going to make the height as 0.5 and then start placing one by one exactly in the center of each option or each object all right and then go to the insert text box you can add the title and here the title make it bold center align and put it here then hold the control shift key just drag this one like this control shift key and drag it and release it again hold the control shift key drag it and release it all right then you can just add some detailed text here add detail text here again if you want center align you can reduce the font size and then again hold the control shift key and drag and drop here you can see here this is how uh, you can uh, make uh, this particular presentation or the slide again if you want more options you can reduce the width of uh, these particular options 